Welcome to this tutorial brought to you by River City Graphics. Today I'll be showing you how to set up a site and connection to your server from Dreamweaver. So to get started we're going to open up Dreamweaver and up in the menu bar we're going to be looking for the site button and we're going to click on that and go down to new site and then the first thing we need to do is basically define where our site is. So the first thing um, we can do in this is actually go to the site name field and we're just going to type in a name for our site. So I'm just going to type in River City Graphics 2 because I already have River City Graphics so I'll just make it number 2. And then the next thing we need to do is basically choose where our files are on our computer. So we're going to click this little browse for folder and go to the desktop we can search for River City Graphics, click OK, and select. And basically, you should have all of your files for your website in one specific folder. And then within that, you'll have like images and scripts and your index file and all that. So what you're looking for is that main folder. And if you don't have your website set up like that, you should because it's helpful and you'll need it for this. So basically, put it all in one folder, and then you can link to it. So once you've done that, you can take and go over in this side menu here, go down to servers. We're going to be clicking this little plus button to add a server. And this is basically going to help us connect to your web hosting so that you can upload files straight from Dreamweaver without having to um, go online and actually um, load up your FTP software and load the files onto your server from there. So this kind of cuts out um, a step for you. So what we can do is take it on server name, you can call us again whatever you want, so I'll be calling it River City Graphics 2, and then we're going to be using FTP, and in most cases you'll be using FTP, so just select that. For FTP address, it's going to be whatever your website URL is, so in my case, RiverCityGraphics.com, and then we'll click on the next thing, and you can see that it automatically adds in um, the website URL down here. Um, and then what we're going to need is the uh, username and so basically this username is whatever you log into your web hosting with it should be that username and the same for the password and if for some reason it's not you can contact your web hosting company and find out what your FTP um, login is so I'm just going to type username there and password there obviously those aren't my actual login but I don't really want to type that on the screen um, for security reasons so the next thing that you're going to want to do is make sure you click this test button now if I click test it's obviously not going to be able to connect because these are incorrect values here for username and password but when you connect it should say something about um, that your connection was made successfully and if it doesn't then check your settings because uh, you might have something wrong uh, you might actually need like the HTTP colon slash slash www dot there um, I don't really know if it makes a difference but if for some reason it doesn't work you can um, try that and so once you click test and then everything's working you can come down here and go to root directory and what this is is basically if when you log into your server you have your files that are public somewhere else like you might have them in root um, slash river city graphics you might have them in like public underscore html slash river city graphics or something like that um, you'll have to know that about your your web hosting in order to fill this out um, but it definitely it saves you basically time by clicking through menus in order to get to the right folder where you need to put your files um, I mean you can do that when you get to the actual files but this saves you an extra step by it just taking you automatically there so you can just drag and drop your files so again once you have that you'll click test and make sure that it can find this particular um, folder that it's supposed to be looking for so once you have that done you can click save and it'll put that server right there click save again it'll say that I already have it linking to that folder but that's okay and so basically it'll open up your files so I'm just gonna close this and basically what I'm gonna do is just open up my about page for River, for River City graphics and then I can take and go to window files and basically it automatically knows um, that that's for uh, River City graphics and so it, it can load up those files right there and you can select between your different sites um, that you have set up uh, accordingly. So in order to actually upload files from here um, you're going to need to find this files window so you can go to window and then files or you can hit F8 and it'll bring that up. As you can see now it has all of the files that are on your site and your folders and everything like that. So basically what you can do is take and click this little plug button here and that will make a connection to your server and then we can take and click this little collapse to show um, local or remote and then click it again to open it up and you can see what it's done here is it's actually taken and made two different sides and so on there 
what you have on the left side is your remote server. So this is my actual web hosting server and on the right I have my local files. So basically I can take my local file and just take and drag it over here and it will overwrite it and then it, it's uploaded. So you can also click the um, little put files here or you can take and click over here and get the click the get file so basically is an upload or download system it's like a giant flash drive is what your web server is um, that anyone can really see so basically um, you can just take and drag and drop or you can click the little upload button um, when you first do it um, it'll bring up a message it doesn't for me anymore because I clicked to set it to not show me the message but say that I upload the about page and the about page has its own CSS page and it has its link to the index page and it's linked to the contact page um, it'll ask me if I want to upload all of those files as well because they have um, basically linking in them and I just usually click no because I know exactly what files I want to upload so um, that's just a little tip if you want to uh, that might be something that you encounter otherwise it'll just ask you if you want to overwrite stuff so um, that's pretty much the tutorial. This is definitely really helpful because it kind of cuts out the need to sign in to uh, your web hosting by going online and signing in and clicking through all their menus uh, or using like uh, FileZilla or anything like that. Um, so with it built right into Dreamweaver, it makes it pretty easy. Um, you might prefer some of that software. It might be better than this. Uh, you might just prefer their interface. Um, but this is definitely worth giving a shot if you already have Dreamweaver. So if you guys learned something in this tutorial, don't forget to subscribe, rate, and comment, and I'll have a new tutorial for you next week. Thanks.